Luke. All right, boys. It looks like the match that won was that one where we have the oh, it, the one hit KO, Yolo Gnome, as well as the explosive. Uh, Yes! Oh my goodness, the explosive Pokemon's the last one on each team! So whichever Pokemon gets knocked out first, oh... Dude, this looks painful. Yeah. There is indeed a distinct possibility that if Dratini and Beedrill get sent out... It um, is a speed tie, It is a right. speed tie, so the first one to explode loses. Which one will make the ultimate sacrifice to try and propel the other team to victory? Remember, guys, the Pokemon all work for us, and the house always wins. <laughs> yeah, just imagine if we end up with a tie. I'll pull the RNG manipulation lever over here. Make sure to make one team extremely rich. Of course, we can't do that, if anybody's curious. Anyways, a little under two minutes left in the betting period for this mix match, which is a token match. Goldeen, Slackoth, and Beedrill on the blue team. Corpus, Teddy Ursa, and Dratini on the red team. I'm going to go ahead and say it. I honestly think that uh, Red might have an advantage if Goldeen gets knocked out. Well, you know, because, I mean, um, you know... I mean, there's a speed tie to see who strikes first, but remember, it rarely ever hits first. And if uh, Corfish does it, you know, you're gonna, they're going to end up with a Truant slack off on uh, Metronome, which means that they're only going to hit every other turn. That is indeed going to be a uh, interesting situation for the blue team. That's going to allow Teddy Ursa to hit more often. For all we know, the Corfish could just wreck every single one of them except for Pedro. <laughs> I've seen it all happen. Yes, anything can happen. <laughs> About 45 seconds left here, guys. Make sure to get your final bets in pretty soon if you want that bet bonus. For those wondering if we curse, if something slips out, it happens. But we usually do not curse. And that music right there from Metal Gear signifies us moving on into the, uh, you better hurry up and place your final bets. All right, betting time is up. And we will be taking a trip to the... Main Street again. Yes. Uh, I think the season started like about a week ago. Yeah, these are for some pretty short seasons. We're going to have two short PBR seasons, and then we're going to go back and play, I believe, Pokemon Bronze. All right, Gorvine's Yolo Drill misses. Corpus's Guillotine misses. Ah, classic. Oh, my goodness. Goldine oh. hits the Horn Drill. <laughs> Corpus heads to the infirmary right there. I would if I was no, hit by that. Oh, first blood. This is getting interesting. Oh, the Goldeen misses with the Torn Drill. Let's and see now what Teddy Ursa does. It waves its hand. It uses Rock Smash. Not very powerful. Maybe you hope a fair defense drop. If it doesn't do get Goldeen misses again. Teddy Ursa waggle that finger. And it attacks with Wing Attack. Hey, this thing doesn't have wings, but down goes Goldeen! That defense drop mattered! You sure it doesn't have wings? I hear Metronome can make anything happen, including one hit KO move! And this is gonna lead off. Faint attack! Does not miss, by the way. Critical and it's a critical off hit. barely holds on! Slack off will now use extra sensory. Perhaps he's hoping for a flinch. But Slack off slow and true it. Teddy Ursa gets two hits for Slack off single. Oh, that bullet punch. Bullet punch. And just like that, the game is definitely over because Petro is going to outspeed Teddy Ursa and explode. Indeed, it's going to be an explosive finish as the red team gets an 88% payout. Good job, red team. The RNG was with you today.
And one million Romans? Well, maybe not so much. Remember guys, most people don't like to bet all in on those matches because of how uncertain they are. That did not stop me yesterday from betting 560k and losing it all to donate it to the loving viewers around us. I don't think I've ever gone that high in all my seasons of this combined. Yeah, no, I was third place yesterday and I decided to, you know, bet on the losing teams of metronomes so that I could, you know, Prosper, and you know what, Gen Wonder did the exact same thing this morning. A lot of people did these massive things, uh, Moncat, you know, a lot of people have actually dropped and, uh, you know, just gave everything away recently. It's, it's been a really interesting season so far. Yes, uh, by the way, thank you for the kind words, Lunar Brakeson. As a match is now set up, it is an advanced match. With switching off, keep that in mind as you place your bets. We're gonna have Bonsley. Sneasel and Torkoal on that the red corner. Red team's Pokemon. The blue team will have Mammal Swine, Vulpix, and Porygon too. Well, what do you think, man? It looks pretty good right here. Uh, for e either team, I mean, it could go either way, but you know. Hmm. I wonder if this particular Mammal Swine has some carbonation because it's holding some soda. Hey. He's got some of that Carbon-14 uh, right there. It brought back the Fossil Mammoth. My goodness. Mammoth Swine's a fossil, everybody. Be sure to tell your friends and family. Which sounds strange because it involves some pill swine. And yeah, it involves from a, related to that thing. Of yeah, it kind of evolves from like a pig, a big hairy pig into a mammoth. It doesn't make any sense. I don't think of elephants as big hairy pigs. Yeah, a woolly mammoth. Wooly Mammoth with a pig nose, that's about it. <laughs> so we're just under 100 seconds left in this betting period for this advanced match with switching off. So what you see here is what you get. That's right, guys. Switching off matters a lot, especially in an advanced match where you guys have to be making inputs and trying to predict what the other team's gonna do. You might wanna make sure that you're uh, absolutely positive that something will one hit KO or something's gonna knock them out and set up for that next move if you can. You gotta play it carefully. That is correct. Yeah, a little bit of betting action on both sides. Red team is a very, a very, very slight underdog. Actually, now it's 121% potential payout. That's still a very slight underdog considering you got pretty big bet bonuses. 30% bet bonus is pretty good in my opinion, man. Yeah, it is. But it, it rewards those who blind bet or have really good latency. <laughs> And seconds left. And Arnold Schwarzenegger's, or something like that, the Terminator is telling us that your time to bet is about to be terminated. You Maybe better you place want your bets now. And get to the chopper. Go place your bets now. Betting time is up. Time is up. All right, everybody, we're here at the Stargazer Coliseum. It is where it's going to be Yellow Trainer versus the Pink Trainer. We've seen Pink a lot today, I think, G-Force. Yes, Pink Trainer has been in a lot of matches there this evening. So now Mammoth Swine is going to lead off with Earth Power. Super effective in Bonsai. It's Barely holds on. Hell. But Bonsley looks like he's gonna explode! And that explosion looks like it's gonna oh, knock Mammoth Swine so back into the Stone Age. Oh, what Mammoth Swine just got re-extinct, everybody. You saw it here on Twitch Plays Pokemon. Wow. Huge critical hit for the red team, and now it's an even match. It's gonna be Vulpix and Sneasel coming out. I don't know, man. This looks like it could be pretty bad for... Uh, <laughs> 
Sneasel, but you know what? Sneasel is a pretty fast and feisty Pokemon with over 300 speed, if I'm reading that right. Yeah, it is one of the fastest Pokemon in the game. Oh, and it out goes the AC here in the commentary booth as Voltix's drought takes effect. I have to put on some more suntan lotion. That drought's gonna make this last a while. Kind of funny though, sun in the middle of night. Hey, works for me. All right, Sneasel barely holds on and it throws its Iron Ball. Whoa! And Voltix is down in one hit. That all that Iron Ball was heavy. That was just shocking right there. Sneasel pulling a Brett Gardner and throwing that pitch like a baseball. Wow! Oh my goodness. Now all that's left for the blue team is Polygon 2. As we all know, this is going to be really interesting. It looks like, uh, my goodness. This looks like it could possibly be a red win here, but you can never be too sure. Red goes and attacks with Ice Shard. Leading off with the Ice Shard, Porygon 2 takes a minor hit. It's about one-fifth health there. That might actually matter. Porygon 2 comes in with a try attack Try attack will be enough to KO Sweezel, uh, Sweezel, Sweezel, <laughs> Sneasel, who falls down due to the combined power of ice, electricity, and fire. And speaking of fire, out on the red side is going to come Torkoal. I don't know why they're not going to stick with Eruption, because, you know, uh, they're going to get a fire boost, you know, stab, sun boost. I don't know. I think uh, Eruption would be a good chance choice here for the red team. Yeah, but remember, Eruption is weaker with less health. Here comes uh, the try attack. This is true. And Torkoal's about half health. So Torkoal's about we'll half health. Solar Beam! Solar Beam detonates, but does very little. I'm wondering if Eruption might have been a better choice for the first one. The sun is still beaming. Polygon 2 with another dry attack. It's getting pretty heated out here in the Coliseum here, G-Force. Torkoal's barely hanging in there, man. Here comes an eruption, which is hardly going to do a thing. Yeah, it was a little too little too late. They should have started off with that, but hey, that's how it is on CPP. And you know, if you don't start off with the right move, you pay the price. Looks like Porygon 2 here is probably going to knock him out. That's going to be it, ladies and gentlemen. Porygon 2 try attacks the Torkoal. And the blue team will take home the prize. I see a lot of people on blue have some pretty nice bet bonuses. I think they're going to really like gaining their dongers right there. Ding dong. Game, set, and match. The blue corner barely escaped defeat. Oh, and speaking of ding dong... Oh my goodness, if that song stays the way it is, I think we're going to have a little bit of a copy pasta going on in the chat. Ding Dong Dongers, of course, is the fan favorite song. Yes, it is. The port of um, Hoenn being Slayport City. And it looks as if Ding Dong Dongers has indeed won the song. That is indeed the case. Hey, nothing wrong with that song at all. It can put in a pretty positive vibe here. And then the, the uh, gimmicks this match are Mix with a uh, Pokemon from it looks like Advanced Stadium 2 and Run Mons. There's an early bet bonus of 10. Also, by the way, everything is sped up and you got to have a nice Spood Beast going on there. Indeed, this match will play twice the normal speed. So thinking ahead is like going to be the key to winning. Hey, G-Force, uh, if it goes twice the normal speed, do we have to speed up our voices too, make them sound squeaky? I think that would be very difficult to do. Maybe we should <laughs> switch out every time a Pokemon faints. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Put on the auctioneering voice, you know? You know? And what have what, what we got here? What do we got here? Yeah, body slam, body slam, body slam, blah, 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 blah. God, man, man. Oh, my God. Anyway, well, I only on Twitch to watch Lyric is just um, toying around with Simulator. 
Hey, Sims always a funny one. I've seen Sims some say pretty uh Sim say some pretty outrageous stuff. I think my favorite thing that Sim ever said was something involving uh Entei and Axe and uh things that should not be mentioned in commentary. That was pretty funny though. Hmm. What's a what? What is a what? Is that the question of the day? Or what? On the red team we have Kangaskhan. Chansey and exclamation point exclamation point exclamation point are the Flareon and, and on oh, the blue team we have Ariados we have Clefable and Dafan yes Dafan Pog Champ I think uh, Dafan's actually one of my favorite Pokemon about uh, under a minute here left guys 50 seconds get your uh, bets in. I suggest making them now if you want to get a little bit of that bonus. It looks right now that uh, Blue is a slight overdog. I am a little more than slight now. Yeah, Blue Team, 145% potential payout right now. Everybody, Team Aqua's appearing, and that means that we gotta hurry up and get this show on the road pretty soon here, guys. Yes, so get your bets. Play some now. If you play if you don't place your bets now, Team Aqua will come and mute you and prevent you from spending your dongers. Or something similar to that. Well, meanwhile. <laughs> Meanwhile, time is up, and we head to the Gateway Coliseum. What is your favorite Coliseum, G-Force? Um, I would have to think that this would be one of my favorites. That and Crystal. Oh, yeah, definitely Crystal. All right. Ariado starts up with a Toxic, and it hits Kangaskhan. This should have some interesting effects here, and Kangaskhan decides to throw something. It flings an Iron Ball, nailing that Ariado. Slowly suffering damage from Poison there. And uh, Kangaskhan goes in for the Body Slam. Body Slam is a critical hit, but it's not enough to knock out Ariado, so he uses Sludge Bomb. And the damage caused by Poison is slowly increasing. Ariado uses Protect in order to try and maybe stall things out a little bit here. Kangaskhan still takes some damage. And Ariado... Oh! Kangaskhan goes for another Body Slam. And Body Slam knocks out Ariados, and it looks like, if I'm not mistaken, uh, Kangaskhan's getting pretty close to going down herself, too. All right, Clefable will come out for the blue team. Clefable uses Thunderbolt, down goes Kangaskhan. Red team sends out their Chansey onto the battlefield. Thunderbolt comes in from Clefable, does a little damage. Chansey's Egg Bomb uh, misses. Another Thunderbolt comes in from. And another Chansey Egg Bomb miss. The table keeps Thunderbolting the Chansey. Now Chansey's Egg Bomb hits for very little damage. A Thunderbolt looking for Paralysis Chance on the Chansey. No Paralysis, another Egg Bomb comes in. So it's a Thunderbolt versus Egg Bomb battle. Chansey taking, oh, oh, Chansey gets paralyzed with an egg bomb. The table about two thirds health. Chansey's now at about one quarter health, fully paralyzed. Another Thunderbolt comes in. Chansey is now in critical health. Chansey turns to Blizzard. Barely any damage, no freeze. Down goes Chansey. Rolling Thunder knocks down the Bombers. It looks like we're now going to come out with Flareon. It's going to be Flareon versus Clefable. Oxy the Clefable uses Bubble Beam, which is super effective against uh, R, the Flareon. He uses Earthquake. And if I'm... Oh! And Oxy uses uh, Bubble Beam again. But it's not enough to take out Flareon, who uses that Earthquake and knocks out Clefable. I think Dothan's going to go for Darude Sandstorm on this turn. Earthquake hardly does a thing. Here comes the Sandstorm. That puts Flareon on a very, very short timer. Flareon's going to have one more turn to make a chance here. Nope, not enough of a chance. And the blue team will get a 118% payout. I see Zion. Back down with the assurance of defeat. 
total, no, nah, not total. Ba barely a victory there over on the blue side, but I think it was pretty obvious the way when we saw things shaping up. When the Kangaskhan went down, I, I thought it was pretty obvious there that stuff was going to go down, because Ariados had that stall set up there, eh? Yes. Blue team takes home the prize. Dongers belong to Blue in their 118% payout. You guys are doing pretty good today. Yes, indeed, that is the case. For those of you just joining us, this is Twitch Plays Pokemon, the original Twitch Plays. I am Monster Rules. And I am G 